hey hi guys welcome back to the video so in this video we will solve the next four questions that is question number five to question number eight let's get started so the next question is which item was the most popular for each customer all right so in this case we basically need the customer ids on the left and on the right you will need the name of the items which are the most popular so how do you find the most popular item obviously uh, you can understand that the most popular item will be based on the number of times an item is ordered all right so we will find that and we will try to rank these items all right so let's see how that is done so i'll say uh, select i want the customer id first okay the next thing i want is obviously the name of the product now I'm using S and M. Uh, this we have discussed in our previous videos. These are just aliases that we are using. So I will say customer ID product name. Now I'll input the other columns shortly. Before that, let me just put in the from statement. Now I want this from sales. Okay. And I'm going to join uh, the menu table. All right. And what is the condition? s dot product id is similar to m dot product id so now this is how i am joining the tables okay let me come back so i have my customer id i have my product name what i also want is the count so count because i want to find out the number of times a dish was ordered okay so i'll say count and i can just put star here and i can probably name this as order count okay this is one and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to rank this so for that i can use the dense rank window function now dense rank window function is used when you don't want to skip a rank okay so i'll show you how so for example if something is similar let's say if the order count is similar for a particular customer so we can rank them both as one or both as two, all right? And the very next rank after two will be three. So usually if you are using a normal rank instead of dense rank, what will happen is after one, you may get a similar ranking as one, but the next ranking will not be two, it will be three because one is shared by two customers already, okay? So we'll use dense rank and we'll use the over clause in here we will partition it by so what should we partition it partition it by it should be it should be partitioned by customer id itself because we need it for different customers right so customer id and you can also order it by what do you want to order it by? It should be ordered by the order count. So you should order it by the order count. Now you cannot use an alias here in the select statement because uh, as per the priority of execution of uh, SQL statements, you cannot use an alias that is already defined in the select statement uh, as another column, okay? So we will say count star itself, count star, okay and i think uh, this should be good we can probably do this in a descending order fashion so that the highest order count comes up at the top don't worry we'll i'll show you the output you will get a better idea when we do that and we can name this dense rank as let's say rn ranking okay now i have customer id product name count star and i also have a ranking so what we have basically done is we have uh, found out the number of orders and we have given a rank to each of those. So let's see how this uh, comes out. Okay, it says it's invalid because there is no aggregate function. Okay, my bad. I have not used an aggregate function here. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So you can group it by customer ID and product name all right so now let's try to run this okay so you have a have the customer id product name 
then you see you have order counts the reason i have uh, done you know done it in a decreasing fashion is so that you can find out which a customer ordered what item and what was the highest number of orders there okay and the reason why i have why we have given a ranking is because we want to find out the most popular item okay so what will be the most popular item the one with ranking 1 here okay so if you see for b all the ranks are 1 1 1 that's because uh, you know there is no timestamp given here we only have the dates right now and you only have the order count here so order count since it is two for all three items the ranking will be the same okay so we will uh, show all three items in our output let me show you how so what we can do now is we can basically you know just put everything in a cte let me just put everything here in a cte okay so i'll say with uh, what do i need it with item count as this okay with item count as now this is a ct now item count and what we are going to do is we are going to use the ct and we are going to print out what we need so we just need the customer id okay and what else do we need we need the product name and where do we need need it from from item count and what should be the condition the condition should be where the ranking is equal to 1 okay we don't need the rankings which are 2 3 and so on so i'll select everything now and i'll try to execute and there you go so these are the most popular items ordered by each customer so a ha had ramen b had all three items c again had ramen okay so this is the solution now moving on to the next question let me just scroll down the next question is which item was purchased first by the customer after they become became a member so make sure you read the question very carefully uh, we need to know the item name that was first purchased by the customer okay after they became a member so there are multiple conditions here now let's see how we go about this so obviously uh, you can uh, notice one thing that you will uh, need a ranking or a row uh, number function here because it says first by the customer right so obviously there is a ranking coming in so when a ranking comes in uh, you will eventually need to filter out something based on the ranking okay so let's start with the ct itself so i'll say i'll name it as orders and i'm going to write my code within the ct okay and eventually i will write a statement uh, i'll select whatever from orders okay and i will have a condition so the first thing i need here is the customer id and the uh, uh, product name obviously right so what i will do is let's say i'll say select i'll need the customer id okay I'll also need the product name. Okay. What else do I need? Well, I need to figure out what was the date that they became a member and what was the date on which they ordered the item. Right. So I'll need the order date from our uh, sales table and I will also need the joining date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out the join date. Now MBSM etc represents different table uh, so i'll have to define it so what i'm going to do is uh, i'll say from menu and i'll name it as m i'll join the sales table with it okay and what is the condition m dot product id is equal to s dot product id and we'll do another join because this time we are talking about uh, you know representing order dates join date etc so we need multiple tables here all right so i'll say members and members is what mb is it's just that i have written it up front at the beginning uh, basically uh, you know you can write it 
write the join statement first and then figure out what aliases you want to include here. Now uh, MB and what is the condition on S dot customer ID is equal to MB dot customer ID because customer ID is the only column that is uh, common between sales and uh, members call, uh, table, right? You can check it out in the ER diagram or you can just do a select star from different all three tables and you will figure it out. All right. So this is my first CT. Now, what is the one thing that is missing? One thing that is missing is I need to know which was the first item that was purchased. Okay. Now, how do you figure that out? You can figure it out by two things. Okay. One obviously is you can include a where statement here where you say the order date so it is telling us that uh, it is asking which item was purchased first okay so the items order date should be greater than the joining date because the item was purchased after they became a member okay so the order date should be higher than the join date right so this is a very important condition okay this is one and you also need a way to figure out which was the first item okay because there could be multiple items there could be more than one item if there, if there was only one item then uh, you know we don't need to include a, a ranking or a row number function okay you can just simply do it using uh, a where, where statement here but since there are multiple items with the same date, you know, there are chances we are using a, uh, we can use a row number or a dense rank. I am going to use a dense rank because uh, that makes more sense here. So I am going to say dense rank over, okay. Again, similar stuff, partition by customer ID. And what do you order it by? You order it by the order date, okay. And I'm going to name it, name it as RN. Cool. So this is our uh, CT. And what do we need from the CT? Let me show you the CT first. So you can just select the statements and execute. Okay. So you have your customer ID. You have your product name. You can see the order date and join date. So basically the order date is greater than the join date. All right. So all these items were ordered after uh you know a, the person became a member you you see that you know the customer id c is not here because uh, c is not part of the members table okay you can check it out that's why you you will not see the customer c here okay now from this what do we need is we just need uh we just need the column the rows which have rank as one correct because that is the first item all right so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to say, let me just do this bit here. Yeah, looks cleaner now. So I'm going to say select. I'm going to say select. What do I need? I just need the customer ID, the product name, from orders that's the name of our CT okay we had already written this here, so I'm removing that from orders where Rn equals 1 okay so now let's try to run this particular query and there you go so these were the two items which were uh, purchased first by the customer after they became a member. So I hope this makes sense. Uh, write it out uh, and try it out so that you get a much better idea. The next question is which item was purchased just before the customer became a member. So this is again uh, a variation of the previous query. So what we can do is we can basically copy the same query from above and just make a couple of changes. So I'm just going to copy, paste it. And what we can do here is, we can say uh, 
we need the same stuff join date and all of that but instead of order date here we just need it to be in descending order because you need the date just before the person became a member okay that's why we are doing it in descending order and one more change you need to do is in the where statement instead of greater than it should be less than now all right because the order date should be before your, the join date okay now let me just uh, run this particular section of the query and show you okay so you see these are the details and uh, for a you can see there are two rows with the same rank one that's because the order date was the same now because you don't have a particular time time here uh, we will go with the order date only and since these are two different entities but the order date is the same the ranking will be the same that's because we have partitioned it and ordered by order date okay now let me go ahead and uh, run this entire query for you all right execute and there you go so these were the items that were purchased just before the customer became a member okay so read the question very carefully let's move on to our last question for today what is the total items and amount spent for each member before they became a member all right so straight forward uh, just going to go ahead and you know run this for you what i'm going to do is let's do a select i will need customer id all right what else do i need total items is something that they have asked okay and the amount so total items will just be you know the count of your product id all right and you can probably name this as let's say total items okay or i can say total items ordered that makes more sense what is the next thing you want you also need the amount spent for each member okay so i'll sum the price all right there is a price column so i'll sum that and we can name this as total amount spent okay and now let's go ahead and define the tables so the first table is menu okay you join this with the sales table and what is the condition m dot product id is equals s dot product id and again i'm going to join this with the members table members mb on s dot customer id equal to mb dot customer id all right good so far now just notice one thing it says before they became a member all right so our condition from the previous uh, question itself will come into effect because it it also asks us before the customer became a member and what was the condition the order date should be less than the join date okay so we will just re enter that here we can say where order date is less than the join date now also notice one thing you are using aggregate functions in this particular uh, query so you will have to use the group by statement so you can group it by customer id okay because that is the uh, remaining one here all right let's see if this works okay so customer a ordered two items and the total amount spent was 25 and customer b ordered three items and the total amount spent was 40 okay let's see if this is correct or not 
Now, uh, one way to check it is you can probably do a you know order date and a join date also. So if you want, uh, let's say s dot order date, and you can do an mb dot join date. Okay. Now here you can group it by s dot order date and mb dot join date as well let's see just to make more sense of the query okay yeah these are the dates so this is exactly before they became a number and you have your number of items and the total amount spent so we have basically summed it up so if i just remove everything and just keep our uh, required columns yeah, there you go. So this is the output of the query. I hope you enjoyed the video and this was a bit long than I expected. So in our next video, we'll cover up the remaining four questions. There are two more questions and two more uh, bonus questions. We'll cover it up and eventually what I'll do is I'll put everything in a single video so that uh, it's easier for you to practice in the future, you know, and from one single video. All right. Uh, thanks for being with me uh, till the end of this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you with the next video in a, uh, in a couple of days probably. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot.